friends, I am from Chemistry Faculty of QLS Academy. Today we are going to study about some more types of chemical reactions. Today we are going to learn about oxidation and reduction. Hope you will enjoy today's class. So let's get started with our today's lesson. In last class, we discussed about combination reaction, decomposition reactions, single and double displacement reactions and also about exothermic and endothermic reaction. Continuing the list, now we are going to learn about oxidation reaction. If a reaction involves the addition of oxygen or the removal of hydrogen from any of its reactants, then it is an oxidation reaction. For example, when copper is heated in presence of oxygen, it becomes black. This black color is due to the formation of copper 2 oxide. Copper 2 oxide. Here are Roman numbers. Pe 2 hai. Iska matlab hai, pe copper ki valency 2 hai. Usually, jo metals are present in valency. Is present hoti hai. Copper ki valency is 2 hoti hai, to kabhi 3 bhi ho sakti hai. So, here, when copper is heated in presence of oxygen, it forms copper 2 oxide. When this oxidized copper powder is exposed to hydrogen gas, it converts back to brown. The exposure of black copper powder to hydrogen gas reverses the oxidation reaction. The reverse of oxidation is reduction. The reaction causing addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen from a substance is known as reduction reaction. So here, when copper oxide was exposed to hydrogen gas, the oxygen of copper oxide reacted with hydrogen to form H2O and left behind element copper. So, when a substance gains oxygen, it is said to be oxidized, while when it loses oxygen, it is said to be reduced. Or in other terms, we can say that when a substance loses hydrogen, it is said to be oxidized and when a substance gains hydrogen, it is reduced. Oxygen gained is equal to oxidation. Oxygen loss is equal to reduction while hydrogen gained is equal to reduction and hydrogen loss is equal to oxidation. There are certain reactions where both oxidation and reduction occur together. Bhosai reaction hote hai, oxidation or reduction dhona saath mein occur karte hai. Such reactions are known as redox reaction, reduction oxidation reactions. Here when copper oxide reacted with hydrogen gas, copper lose the oxygen to hydrogen and hence copper got reduced and hydrogen got oxidized. Now, because copper ka reduction hydrogen cause kar raha, hydrogen oxidize ho raha hai, isi liye copper reduce ho raha hai. So, we can say that hydrogen is the reducing agent or the substance which get oxidized is usually the reducing agent. Jo substance oxidize hota hai, wo us reaction ka reducing agent kehlata hai. Similarly, the oxidation of hydrogen is caused by copper. So, we can say that copper is the oxidizing agent or the substance which get reduced is the oxidizing agent. Now, let us see where does these chemical reactions play important role in our daily day to day life. We all consume food. Hum sab khana khate hai. This food is digested in our stomach. The food digested our body through a series of chemical reactions. Bhoot saare chemical reactions hote hai. Variety of chemical reactions hote hai. Jinsa ki food ko break karke energy or other nutrition derive kiya chate hai. Carbohydrates present in our food is decomposed to release energy. Fuels, fossil fuels are burned to release energy to drive vehicles. In photography, photosynthesis, respiration, there are all type of chemical reactions. Humare puri life chemical reactions se bhari hui hai. Our whole life is driven by chemical reactions. Chemical reactions are not always beneficial. Hamesha ye zaruri nahi ki beneficial hi ho. Some reactions can also cause distress to our daily life. One such reaction is corrosion. When iron objects are left out in open, their shiny surface become reddish brown in color. This reddish brown color is rust. When iron Fe reacts with oxygen and water H2O, it gives out Fe2O3, which is rust, iron oxide. And this process of rusting is known as rusting of iron. Many other metals like silver and copper also corrode when they come in contact of moisture or acids or other agents. Silver becomes blackish in color when it is exposed to air. Silver actually reacts with sulfur present in the air to form silver sulfide. Copper gets green deposition when exposed to moisture. This green deposition is of a mixture of copper hydroxide and copper carbonate. 
Corrosion causes damage to many important structures and objects like bridges, ships, cars, building support materials, etc. Corrosion ke wajah se hume har saal crores of rupees ka loss hota hai. Sometimes it also poses threat to life. Think of a bridge falling apart because of rust. Sinking of a functioning ship due to rust. Since iron is widely used to make many different objects, so rusting of iron is a major issue than corrosion of copper and silver. To protect iron objects from rust, they are either covered with materials like paint and grease or they are galvanized with somewhat more reactive metals like zinc. Painting and galvanization prevents iron from coming in contact of water and oxygen and hence it is protected from rusting. Metals can also be protected from corrosion by alloying, means by mixing them with other metals. We will discuss this in detail in coming chapters. The corrosion reactions are oxidation reactions. Oxidation reactions generally cause nuisance. Hume apni diet mein antioxidants include karne ke liye kaha jata hai. Kyun? It is to stop the oxidizing agents form inside our body. Oxidizing agents form inside our body can cause cancer and rapid aging. While oxidation outside our body causes corrosion of metals and rancidity of food items. Humne corrosion ke baare mein padh liya. Ab hum rancidity ke baare mein padhte hain. When food items containing fats are left out for some time, they develop a foul smell and bad taste. This change in smell and taste of food items such that they become unfit for consumption is known as rancidification. To protect food from rancidification, antioxidants are added in food to nullify those oxidizing agents causing rancidification. Oxidizing agents ka effect ko khatam karne ke liye hum antioxidizing agents ko add karte hain. Similarly, Nitrogen gas is also used to create a non-oxidizing environment to protect food items from rancidification. So friends, with this we are concluding the chapter chemical reactions and equations. Hope you all have enjoyed today's class and now know to write chemical equations and have a basic idea about chemical reactions. If you have any doubt or need any information, you can always visit the following given link.